everyone welcome to Sabi's palette today i'm going to share with you one more of my mom ratna's recipes this is a recipe for a snack and one of my all-time favorite in my language in Canada, we call it korbale these are rings made out of rice flour um, they're crispy and spicy and they're deep fried um so i'm going to try this out today i hope it turns out as amazing and as crispy as she used to make it and uh, we'll get started then mm -hmm. we have a cup of rice flour here one fourth cup of all-purpose flour salt we're going to add whatever to taste i have about 12 or so curry leaves i have half a cup of fresh coconut this is actually frozen fresh coconut we just thawed i have half a cup of uh, desiccated coconut or dry coconut one teaspoon of mm, cumin seeds about 12 10 to 12 um, red chili and about a half cup of roasted chana dal. and i have a safadita here and uh, we're going to add two tablespoons of hot oil and water for making the dough. The first step we're going to do is to fry, dry roast the all-purpose flour uh, till we get a nice aroma. So I have a heated pan here and I'm going to add the half cup of all-purpose flour. And we're just going to dry roast this till the rawness goes away and you get a nice aroma out of it. You don't really want to make it brown. Okay, I think it is done. I can smell, it's nicely roasted and you can see like a little bit browning on the edges and that's when I know it's completely done and transfer this back to the bowl. So here's the roasted all-purpose flour or maida. And then now next step is to grind. And for grinding, we are going to take the dalia or the roasted chana dal and all of the red chili and the dry coconut and the fresh coconut. We're also going to add some curry leaves. You don't want to add too much water. So we're just going to add and grind this up to make a nice thick paste. I forgot to add jeera and asafoetida while grinding. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already added the jeera and I'm going to add the asafoetida and uh, grind this a little bit more to get the final masala. Here's the final mix with the addition of the jeera and the asafoetida and it smells so good. So let me go ahead and transfer this to the container. All right, so I've transferred the ground mixture to this bowl and to this we're going to start adding our flours so we're going to add the uh, roasted all-purpose flour and the rice flour and we're going to mix this up and I'm going to use my hand to mix it up okay and we'll add about a teaspoon and a half of salt um, and the other thing I'm going to add is two tablespoons of hot oil. And uh, this is just a vegetable oil. We're going to mix this with this. And now I'm going to use my hand again to mix all this together. To this, we're going to add a little bit of water at a time to make it into a nice dough. If you're making a big batch, um, I would recommend that you mix water in batches. You don't want to make a large batch and keep it. Um, the thing is, it will dry out very quickly and uh, and once it dries out, it's hard to make the rings, which is smooth and the rings will start breaking up. So you can see it's become a nice soft dough and the more you mix the dough, the more it's easy to roll out the rings or the cord. So I'm going to just knead the dough, mix it up. There you go. That seems to be the right consistency. Just want to show you. The next step is to roll these out into rings. And to do this, I use my silicone mat, which works really well. Um, so we're going to roll these out into rings now. And I take a small amount, about this much, and then we're going to roll this out. These silicone mats work perfectly for making this cord bunnies. 
So we're gonna keep it small so it's easier to fry. So you can see. Let me make up make one more to show you guys how this is done. It's really important that you knead the dough well. Otherwise, when you're trying to make, roll it out, it'll break, so. Okay, so let me go ahead and make a few before we. So I have about 10 here. Uh, I'm gonna make the last one out. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this down to the fryer to deep fry, okay? So I'm going to use an electric fryer to fry this. Uh, you can actually use, um, you know, a pan with oil to, to deep fry it. And uh, one um, advice is to not to make more than you're going to fry because they're going to dry up and break. So just make this enough of what you can fry. And now I'm going to slowly transfer this into the frying pan. So while this is getting cooked, I'm going to go ahead and make the next batch. It takes a little longer for it to cook. A couple of minutes since I put it in, I move them out. Um, you don't want to mess with it as soon as you put it in. So to avoid breaking. So there you go. It's getting nice and fried. Um, the one uh, key to note that it's completely fried is you see the bubbles. Uh, the bubbles will completely die down. And once the bubble die down, you know your cord bellies are nice and ready. So the, the last few of the uh, cord bellies are rolled out. And I have this much of the dough left and what my mom used to make for um, kids um, and like me when we were young was make this into just round balls like marbles you know and uh, fry those up and that was my favorite so just in reminder of my mom i'm going to make a few of these round balls and fry those up too final batch of uh, frying the code bellies and those little marbles and this is how it looks um it looks really good um, and I'm going to give it a quick taste in terms to see how it tastes and the texture um, but I'm not really happy with like the thickness or the you know uh, perfect shapes and I think that you get only with practice and here are those little marbles and Code Ballet has to be eaten with some fresh hot filter coffee um, so I'm going to eat this, taste this with my coffee and uh, let's take a bite. Oh my God, the taste is so perfect. It's just like how my mom used to make it, the taste and even the texture uh, is exactly like how she would make it. I'm so happy um, that I could recreate my mom's recipe. The only thing additionally which I added to this was some curry leaves for grinding. Other than that, it's exactly what my mom used to make. So, hope you guys can try this out and uh, let me know how it works. And hope to see you all again. If you like my recipes, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.